Hi everyone, I'm Judy and I'm addicted to puzzles. Today um, I'd like to show you some puzzles that I've gotten in the past couple months, January and February. Uh, there might be a couple in here that I got for Christmas also. So um, first up are these from the Hallmark store. Disney turns 100 this year. 100 years old on October 16th. Um, so the Hallmark store had a Disney 100 year puzzle. It's got um, Mickey, Minnie, and Pluto, and it's only a few colors. So it's going to be a challenging puzzle, but um, I'm definitely going to enjoy it. And it's probably going to be one that will hang on my wall because I love Disney. And then this is the 50th anniversary of the Magic Kingdom. So I'm assuming the one in um, Florida, Walt Disney World Resort. So that's Florida. Uh, Disneyland opened in 1955 on July 17th. I know that because I am from Southern California or the Central Coast anyway. So we went to Disneyland quite a bit. So those are the first two. Just got these a couple weeks ago for 100 years of Disney. Can you imagine a world without Disney? I, I literally could not imagine a world without Disney. This is just a 200 piece cute little puzzle from Robinsberger. I found it on Amazon. I was just on there getting a couple of things and I saw this puzzle for like, I don't know, $7 and I was like, um, it's cute. So it's a cute little puzzle snack that I can just whoop out real quick. And um, it's super cute. These two puzzles are not actually new new. This pixel puzzle I got for Christmas. My son and his girlfriend actually got this. It's um, it's just pixels. That's all it is. Little tiny square pixels. So that'll be challenging for sure. Um, totally up for the challenge though because they know I like challenging puzzles. And then this is a Rubik's Cube puzzle. It has nothing but Rubik's Cubes. Um, I don't even know what to say about it. It's from Etsy. There's a shop called Cool Cube Merch. I've mentioned it before um, because my son, my younger son, Matt, is a, uh, a Rubik's Cuber. And when I saw these puzzles, there's four of them. I had to get it. It comes in a tin. It's a thousand pieces. Um, I will be doing both of these sometime, um, not next week, but I will be doing these sometime and I'm going to try to do them back to back and actually do a video with, uh, both of these because they're both super challenging. Uh, this puzzle is from Gallison. It's, um, called Garden Path. It's only 500 pieces. It's, um, it's a beautiful, it's just a beautiful peaceful puzzle and this is part of their new spring collection i'll put a link to it in the um in the description for you but their whole spring collection is really their spring collection is is beautiful there's so many nice puzzles in there uh it's also where i got the um the geometric shape one with the triangle and the circle and the square um part of their spring collection. So Springbok had a whole bunch of, I should say has a whole bunch of new puzzles out. And when I saw this one, I had to get it. The original puzzler is, um, people say it's one of the hardest puzzles they've ever done. And I've never done it. I don't have it. I would like it. Um, I have found it on um, eBay, but it's super expensive and people don't know if all the pieces are there. So I'm like, I don't want to buy a puzzle that's going to be super expensive if the pieces are not present. I mean, that's just crazy. Uh, so I'm going to do this anniversary of the puzzler. Um, if I can find the original, I'd love to do it and then compare the two and see if like they made this one easier, which is probably going to be easier because I think you'll be able to tell. Uh, the 60 in the middle. So I'd like to find the puzzler and do this one with the puzzler. So I'm going to look 
But this one will be coming up pretty soon because I'm just dying to do this particular puzzle. So more that I got from Springbok. This is uh, 500 pieces. And it's uh, called Crafty Colors. I'm really into gradients lately. Um, I wasn't before, but ever since I... Um, I did Karen Puzzles Puzzle, and I did another did another one that was a gradient, and I'm like, wow, I just want to do all the gradients. And I have quite a few, so I think closer to Easter time, I'm just going to have a whole gradient week or two, and do, well, I don't know if I'll do them all, but I'm definitely going to do, I have a soonness gradient called Jelly Bean, and there's Magic Box and um, Sky Lug, so I think I'm going to do all three of those um, right around Easter. So... Yeah, I think that'd be a great time to do a puzzle called Jelly Bean, right? <laughs> um, here's another one that I got from Springbok. It's called Dripping in Color. It's all crayons. Doesn't even look like one, but it reminds me of a puzzle I did in high school called Crayola Freeway. And it was um, no rhyme or reason. It was just a freeway of crayons. Like, they'd all go and, you know, all connected. But he would have like a line of crayons and then another line of crayons. And it was such a cool puzzle. That's another one that I'd really like to find. But I've only found it on eBay and it's pretty expensive. So maybe I'll find that one for um, a cheaper price and then I can get that one back. I don't know what I did with it. I have, I don't know what I did with it. This is, uh, it's called Snow Days. I know it's a Christmas puzzle. And I have a ton of Christmas puzzles because I didn't get to do Christmas puzzles this past Christmas. Um, so I bought this one because I love snowmen. And this has a lot of snowmen on it. And I'm going to have a lot more time to do Christmas puzzles next year. And I might not even wait. I might just do, you know, Christmas in July or when it snows here again. Maybe I'll do it on a snowy day because we got snow a couple days ago. So February and March, we get snow. We don't get snow in December. <laughs> but... Okay, so here's the last one. Uh, this is uh, Coca-Cola. It's called Pop Art. Um, there's a lot of Coca-Cola in here, though. And I love Coca-Cola puzzles. Since um, the Centennial 2000 piece from Springbok came out in 1988 or 6, uh, I, love, I have loved Coca-Cola puzzles since then. So it's been a long time and I have a pretty large collection of Coca-Cola puzzles. And most of them are Springbok. <laughs> okay, so those are my Springboks. Actually, here's a Coca-Cola puzzle. It's not Springbok. Um, it was from Target. I don't know. Um, Majestic puzzles is what this is. But uh, this was a Target puzzle. Coca-Cola. If I see a Coca-Cola puzzle, I'm probably going to get it. Now, these puzzles are from Four Point Puzzles, um, and I have so many of them because, unfortunately, they, um, the lady that ran it, she closed up her shop. And I had seen a lot of these puzzles on Instagram, and I never really knew who Four Point was, but, um, like, this puzzle, I had seen quite a few times, and, um... I was like, wow, that's a cool puzzle. But I never really looked to see where it came from. Uh, so this was, this is called Fade, and it's from Four Point Puzzles. Um, but like I said, unfortunately, she closed her shop recently. So she had a huge closing sale, and I got, um, I got quite a few puzzles for great prices. But it's sad. The prices are great, but it's sad that she closed her shop. There you go. So this is called Fade. Super, it's just a cool puzzle. And then this is New York Quilt, which I think is a really cool puzzle. I like doing puzzles that have uh, weird designs in them. So this one, I'm not a quilter, but I love quilts. And I think that's going to be a fun puzzle. This is called Dots, and it's going to be um, a pretty tough puzzle. There's a lot of black in it. It's a circle. I don't know if you can see that it's a circle, but it is a circle. Um, so this is going to be, it's going to be cool. Because I don't mind if a puzzle is like super difficult. I'm, um, I'm a very patient person when it comes to puzzles. Most of the time. 
Okay, so this is a paint by numbers desert. And I got this one because I live in the desert um, in New Mexico. Um, this is more Arizona or Utah-ish desert because our desert doesn't quite look like this. Not where I live. Um, but this is beautiful. I think. And then this one is Paint by Numbers Ocean, which is just beautiful. And I grew up by the ocean. So, you know, not that I got it because I grew up by the ocean. Uh, it's just very pretty. And then there's this one. This is called Tangled. And I had seen this puzzle on Instagram. And I was like, well, that's a cool puzzle. Um, but I never got it. But now I have it. And it's, I think it's, it's <laughs> this is going to be challenging. Um, I might just do all of these puzzles, you know, like the, um, um, these four that are more abstract art. I might do all those, you know, just have like a, a four point puzzles week and do them all at the same time. Uh, this one is the planets. It's 2000 pieces and, um, it basically has eight planet shaped puzzles inside the box. So it's not like a 2000 piece puzzle of planets. It's a 2000 piece puzzle of eight planets, you know, eight shaped planets. So this one's going to be, they're all mixed, you know, they're all just in one bag. So you just have to sort it to the, um, you know, to the, to the planets and put it together. So this one's going to be really fun. Okay. So those are my four point puzzles. Okay, the next puzzles coming up are from, yay, the Magic Puzzle Company. This is their series three. I have series one and two, even though I've only done a couple of them each. Um, I think I've done one from series one and one from series two. So what I'd like to do is, um, there's a couple that I already know what's in the secret bag. So those ones, I'm going to do them backwards. I'm going to be a rebel and I'm going to start with the envelope that they say do not open until the end. I'm going to open it first because I think that would be fun. Why not? Um, I'm only going to do that with series one though, because I think most people have seen series one. Um, I'll put a spoiler alert on my video though. That way you don't get spoiled if you still haven't done series one. Uh, so this is called the gnome's home. And if you don't know how a magic puzzle works, uh, you basically put the puzzle together and then there's a surprise. I'm not going to tell you what the surprise is though. Um, but there is a whole surprise to the puzzle and it's super cool. Um, so that's the gnome's home. This one is the puzzled patron. You can't really see that much from the box. But... And then the last one is called the secret soup so hopefully um i'll do maybe i'll just have a magic puzzle two weeks and i'll do all these puzzles because i have oh, yeah i have nine of them so i have seven of them to do because i i know i've done two um i've done the mystic maze and the forest feast so that's, you know, seven puzzles. There's seven days in a week. If I could get them done in a day, that'd be a magical week, wouldn't it? These puzzles are from a company called A Killing Affair. And their box came with the tape, you know, the police tape on the box. I thought that was cool. So I had to keep the tape on it. So these are um, murder mystery puzzles. I haven't opened them yet. Uh, they were on Kickstarter. So I backed these on Kickstarter and I'm super excited to get started on them. Um, I don't know when I will actually start on them. Hopefully I'll do at least one in the next couple of weeks. Actually, I'll probably do one for sure in the next couple of weeks since I'm gonna do puzzles that are new to me. And this is new to me, so that'd be perfect. So maybe I'll get one of these done for sure. So this one is Craft Night. Um, this one is 
the pool boy. And this is the nightclub owner. So, uh, I will, when I do one of these or all of them, I don't know, I will come back and do a video so that I can explain to you how it worked. And, but I won't give any details away of who the murderer was or anything like that. And speaking of murder mystery puzzles, I have four of these. These are from um, areyougame.com also. I only got this one because it has a basset hound on it because I have two basset hounds, Maggie and Eeyore. I love basset hounds. Um, so B is for birthday, B is for basset, you know. Um, I'd love to do one of these also. The only thing I know about these mystery puzzles um, is that there's two puzzles in the box and um, in one bag. So you have to figure out, you know, which pieces they go, which which pieces go to which puzzle. I've heard it's not that hard to figure out though. So um, I'm assuming they're probably just, you know, two distinct puzzles. <sighs> Isn't it cute though? I really drive my husband crazy because um, I'm like, which puzzle should I do? Because I want to do them all. So speaking of my husband, he's always saying that I have too many puzzles, right? Because I I literally do probably have too many puzzles, huh. but is there such a thing? So he'll go to Walmart or Target or wherever he's at and he'll be like, oh, I got some puzzles for you, even though he says I have too many puzzles. So there's definitely at least four uh, Disney Diego puzzles he got for me recently. Um, our there's actually probably nine or ten over there that he got for me that are this Seiko Disney from um, probably Walmart. And then there's a flamingo puzzle that's like geometric. I love flamingos. Um, and recently he got me this one. This is Buffalo Games because I didn't have an Easter puzzle. So he found an Easter puzzle for me, even though I was going to do the jelly bean gradient. So now I have two Easter puzzles to do. So that's going to be fun. He found a white mountain hot air balloon puzzle. Um, it's all hot air balloons. Because we have hot air balloons here. So I love hot air balloon puzzles. I think the month of September is going to be hot air balloon month. Because the balloon fiesta is in October. The first Saturday it starts. So I want to do some hot air balloon puzzles. So that's going to be what my September is going to be filled with. Uh, another white mountain puzzle. This is called, I had one of those. So it's, um, it's got Gumby. It's got all the cool little things that we had, you know, back in the day. I did have one of those little things with the little magnets and you made the guy's hair. I had one of those. Um, silly Putty. I had Silly Putty. Uh, some of this stuff was before me though. Uh, <laughs> but I did have a Light Bright and I loved Light Bright. Light Bright was my favorite, probably my favorite toy as a kid. I wish I still had my original one. Um, but man, Light Brights were amazing. So this is a fun puzzle also. And these he did get, I believe he got these at the Goodwill. And he got them because they aren't opened. They're uh, sealed and they were like, this one was $5. This one was 3 <clears throat> Uh, I don't know how much that one was because um, um, but they're all sealed so that's why he gets them and this is a coca-cola puzzle um, springbok this is um, it's not vintage or anything I think it's just 2013 so I know springbok always makes coca-cola puzzles um, I know that some of these images are on the centennial puzzle for sure. Because I remember. I have it right up there. Spring block. And it's just got a bunch of dogs. Because we're a dog family. And it has a basset hound. And a basset hound. And a basset hound. And that's why my husband bought it. Because if there's a whole bunch of basset hounds on here. So. Yep. Basset hounds. Okay. So. 
I actually have a couple more White Mountain puzzles. Um, I have two more there, too. I didn't realize I had so many White Mountain puzzles, but I actually have quite a few. Um, these two puzzles, my older son Lane and his girlfriend Brittany got me these when I quit my job. It was kind of a, um, it was their congratulations <laughs> present. So they got me, this one is uh, Drive-In Movies. So I've had this one since, you know, November. Uh, Drive-In Movies. I love drive-ins. I wish drive-ins would just make a huge comeback, but I think they're gone forever. And then this is American Diner. Um, I don't know how she picked out puzzles that are like 50s based because I love the 50s. I mean, I grew up in the 80s, thankfully, but the 50s era just seemed like it would have been so much fun to grow up in as a teenager. I It's one of my... I wish I could go back and visit times, but I'm glad to be in 80s. See? 80s. <laughs> okay, last but not least, Robin's Burger. And this is the uh, Goldilocks Gets Caught puzzle. Um, I'd been wanting this for a while, and I finally found it on Amazon a few weeks ago. So, Amazon, Goldilocks. Super excited to have this one. So that's all for me today. I just want to say thank you for watching. Happy puzzling. Thank you for watching. Uh, like, subscribe, you know, do all those fun things. And I will see you in the next video, which will probably be talking about puzzles that are new to me. Um, brands that I haven't tried yet. Okay. Have a great day. And thank you for watching. Bye, guys. And girls. Bye, everybody.